where are you? I want to activate this. Okay. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I know, I'm just all over the place today, but um, I was just running around doing stuff on my own and nothing too significant. Um, played around with a Gatling gun for a minute. It broke so we don't have it anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. Got lots of treasures. That's not it, really. Um, we claimed a new section of London. So we're about halfway done with everything. Like the child labor, the Templars, all that stuff. Yeah, it's so much easier to traverse with this. And I wanted to do this because I don't know, I don't think I know what this is. I could actually start um, conquering this because we're at level six right now. I like how much easier it is to get down. <laughs> Just hold the button. Oh, wait a minute. No. Not quite there yet. He's on the other side of the tracks, literally. <laughs> and I'm feeling a lot better, so... I have no idea what was going on. Like, ooh, treasure chest. I want it. Like, I don't know if it was something I ate or my body just decided to hate me. Um, he's supposed to be like, oh, there. Oh, I think I remember you. When I saw his hat, I was like, oh yeah, because that guy that we met at the beginning had a similar hat. And I thought it was the same dude. Kind of has a mad hat or... Not guilty. <laughs> Beg your pardon. You, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. <laughs> is this a prize fight you mean? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Topping. Best bookie in all of London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Don's a bit of a nincompoop. <laughs> Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. So, we've opened up the... Fight clubs, finally. Yeah, I'm at Sigizzle too. Good God, I'm at level. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm at level six. I'm gonna mop the floor with this guy. Not even fair. Shall we put your skills to the test with another round? That was easy. 
I gotta keep going. Oh, oh, come on. I press the button. He's stuck in another animation. Ah! Did you just say I seem like a bitch? Man, they talk dirty in this game. Okay, next fight. Keep going, keep going. Oh. oh, come on, I pressed that button. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh, I pressed it. I pressed it. God. Jesus. Keep going. <laughs> I don't even know how long this is gonna go. Ah, okay. I figured it out. No, 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 no. Fuck press. I don't know. Yeah. Satisfying. Ladies and gentlemen, that was easy. You look like you could use an adventure. Sign now I kind of want to see. Is it always level two? Well, I might as well do it again. I should probably get try another one because this is a little too easy right now. Uh, they were both going yellow. How was I supposed to know which one to? I didn't see him. Oh, did I gain a level? Oh, I guess I did. I think I'm gonna have to pick one that's a little bit harder than this. This is just a little too easy. I was like, where's this other guy? I knew there was. Head over him. God damn. Okay, who's next? You?
Damn. Who's next? I gotta keep going. Oh, come on, I was pressing the other button to break his guard. Hit. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for another one. New personal best. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do another one. That this is too easy. I think I need to turn off my phone again. Okay. Well, that was fun. Okay, so now we know what that guy's all about. Um, I know that there's more. It's not just the Fight Club. Okay, there's a Fight Club, a uh, lap race. Let's try the race. See what that's all about. If it's just running, that's fine. If it's like traversing the landscape, I might be in trouble because I always have trouble with that. I might have to switch to Eevee for it too. Like with the five clubs, I don't know if that's just a Jacob thing or if she could do it too. She, I don't think so because she, she's not really a brawler. Like he is, she's more of a sneaker, so that's why I'm like, for the races, maybe I'll switch to her. That would make more sense. But first I want to see what it's all about, because I don't think I've ever done this. Alright. Now I've unlocked that, and I can do those in my spare time if I'm bored. I will continue the story, I just wanted to... Do... Got stuck on the thing. I just love doing that. It's fun. Alright, let's see what this race is all about. Okay, let's just see when the race. Okay. Make your way to the starting line. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Oh no, it's a. Oh god, I thought it was gonna be like a running race. Get out of the way! Ah, 
get ahead of these guys. Come on. Oh my god, I'm trying so bad. No! I need a red show! <laughs> Oops. Jesus. Ah, god damn it. Oh, well I'm in second now anyway. Two out of three laps, so if I pass him on this lap and just hold the lead, I'll be good. Ah, fuck. I fudge, I didn't say it. No, you will not pass. You shall not pass. I am wrecking everything. Where did they go? Oh god. Oh. Did I just take a shortcut without knowing it? Because. I just went for the next checkpoint, wasn't even paying attention to what they were doing. And then they went off in a completely different direction. Okay, I gotta stop waiting for this. It's slowing me down. Ah! Oh, don't you dare get ahead of me. Get out of the way! No, they're, they're getting on me. No. I was holding a really nice lead. They're not gonna gain on me. No, nope, they're too fucking dear! Shit, 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 shit. Ah! Yes! Okay, I'm not doing one of those again. Three minutes and six seconds, huh? No, I'm not replaying. Screw that. Did it once. That was enough. <sighs> okay, well, now I know what that's all about. I was thinking it was going to be like running, not like... Okay, that's another level two. Are those the only ones, the Fight Club and the races? A to B race. But is it exotic race? I wish it said if it was a foot race or... Yeah. Okay, we already know what that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do Charles Dickens thingy. And to do that, I'm going to switch to Evie because she's the one who's helping him. Run along now. What? Did we get new inventory for you, Evie? Um, it's pretty much the same. Ooh, there we go. Uh, I think we're... Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Check your cane, I think. Okay, I have to progress further in the story to get that. And I have to complete Charles Dickens' memories to get that. Okay, so let's check her skills. 
She's got five, so what do we want to do? She's our, she's my stealth girl, so I'm going to do all the stealth things first. All right, and now we've got three more for her. So we have this, this, and that one are, are all. This one's weird. You can become invisible. Like, that's weird. <laughs> All right, where is, there it is. What's going on over here? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, that's cool. There were rooks right there and they didn't seem to want to help. <laughs> Um, my crew's pretty jacked up since, what, what have I been doing with them? Let's see, gang upgrades. So we have them at level 5 as a base. Um, they open fire when I order them to fight. Um, we have carriages, lots of carriages, um, watchers use their firearms more often than other archetypes. Um, the blighter's carriages are less resilient, so if I get into a carriage fight with them, it's not going to go well. Um, this re Ooh, I should do that next. <laughs> so, and then we have the police will turn a blind eye to some of my legal activities. And the Nay Fry inspires fear. The Blighters won't initiate conflict with me. So that's why they haven't been going nuts as much anymore. Combine this and shops, yeah. I have to do breaking news. So I have, I invested in the pub and I invested in street football games around the pub. And then this is the next one, which is professional bookies. But that's a little bit too much money. So I kind of want, ooh, do we want the brutes? Or do we want to poison them? I think I want to poison them. <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. Because the next one in that tier is their weapons are not as threatening. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, it rains, I like that it, it does that though, that it rains so often in this game. It's like, well, you're in London, <laughs> what you expect, it's going to rain a lot. <laughs> Although, I mean, like I said, I didn't stay long in London when I visited, and but I didn't get to experience the rain. So... Okay, so we're doing this. While investigating a haunted carriage, a weary assassin receives a personal letter from a complete stranger. That sounds interesting. Um, the one I remember doing of his was like me following him or something. You seem tired, friend. Everything all right? There's always too much work to do. The These letters never reach their destinations. How sad. Said to be covered with gold leaf, dazzling passers by when the sun shines. Naturally, it's rumored to be haunted. Now, let's the see. The Royal Mail coaches vanished it. when the post began to be transported by rail. Now, this is going to sound weird, but I like oh, that each of the I'd siblings. Enjoy a sit down, but duty calls. <laughs> uh, what? She actually sat down? took a break. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, there's the last piece. I like the love letter. My darling Fry, 
How I long to be in your arms again. Ever since our last meeting, I've been racked with loneliness. Your absence drives me to despair. I implore you, return to me at once. I long to see you and hear your voice. Do not delay. I await your arrival and offer myself to you completely. Your very own Elizabeth. <laughs> if that's a... Man, just imagine, like, it's... It's, you know, a darling fry, and you think Jacob, but it could be either one of them. <laughs> oh god, it wants me to hijack in less than two minutes. That might not happen. Ugh, I feel like I'm in that race again. I'm just spamming the button now to catch up. God, really? Ah. Whoops. Okay, I'm almost set on top of it. Oh god, fuck. Oops. <laughs> I'm almost on top of it and then I immediately did something stupid. Come on. Go to roof. Got it. Who's there? Are you a friend? Yes, you're safe. You don't have to worry anymore. Oh, you saved me. That wretch would have forced me to marry him within the hour. I must return home. Ah, uh, we're working on it. Oh, yeah, I haven't. Well, this is level 8. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Like, could I? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Could I? Um, you only go up to level 10 in this game, which is a little odd. Like, why did they even... Oh, oh. Could you go back? Of course. Come on, faster. Probably shouldn't wreck the carriage too much, huh? Wait, wait, hold on. Not that one, not that one, not that. Okay, there we go. Where are we even going right now? I hate shooting the horses, but... Oh my god, shit. Okay, I'm getting out. I said I'm getting out. Oh, really? I have to stay in the... I am defending it right now. Well, finally my, my crew comes to help. Jeez. No problem. I owe you my thanks. You have gone to a great deal of trouble for someone you don't even know. What is your name? Evie okay. Fry. Jeez. There you are. Well, the carriage is a little worse for wear, but. I think it's only on three wheels. Look at how it's tilted. <laughs> Our poor horse has probably seen better days. 
That's it. Come on. Well, it's all four wheels. It's just tilted at an angle for some reason. I will say this game has not glitched on me once since I played it, since I started. There you we go. Preserved my honor and saved my life. I am Elizabeth. Won't you climb down and sit beside me so that I might see your face? Sure. Where is she? I'll cry for help, my dearest mama and papa. By the time you read this, I shall likely be dead. I cannot marry the Marquis, for I love another. I must escape this brutal tyrant. But I know that if I do so, he will hunt me down. I am so afraid. I love you. Goodbye, your daughter, Elizabeth. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that sort of thing happened a lot in Victoria and London. Oh, what? That was all a dream? Just about to collapse. What on earth has happened? Just a dream. Or so I think. What the hell? That was weird. the fuck? I, I have no idea what just happened. Ah! Well, I couldn't still kill all of them because I suck. I'm pressing that button. Why does it sometimes work? Oh, come on. I just mastered this as Ezio now. I mean Ezio. <laughs> You can actually give Jacob an outfit to make, make him dress as Ezio. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Um, let's see, do we want to do another... I kind of want to see what this is. The vault. There's another memory over here. And another one there. That was really weird. <laughs> she had a dream. That she saved a, a woman from an unhappy marriage. And the woman and the person that the woman was in love with was last name of Fry. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to my knives. There we go. So, we could have some bi-curiousness going on with Evie. <laughs> that would actually make her character super interesting. I mean, not that she's not already super interesting, but you know what I mean? It adds a new layer to it when you're like, well, you c I could have done that as Jacob, you know. And then you would have been like, oh, it, he's having a dream that he's saving this girl and she's in love with him. Which fits in with his character. It seems like something he would have a dream about, honestly. But if you're playing as Evie when you do it, it's, it's a little bit different. It's interesting. That's what I find interesting about doing some of these tasks. Oh, that kind of person kind of slid across the... <laughs> the ground, didn't they? <laughs> you know, I don't even mind that sometimes the mechanics are a little weird or that weird things like that happen. Oh, just drop. Just drop. There you go. Good girl. Because it's kind of funny when it happens and so far it hasn't been in a convenient sort of, an inconvenient sort of way. It's always been in a weird and funny sort of way, like that guy sliding across the ground. Okay.
I did all the um, vaults for Ezio on stream, so that's kind of why I wanted to do this on stream. Plus, I don't think I've ever done this. So I don't know what this, this is. is. My God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? <laughs> I'm the foggiest. <laughs> he was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? I've been finding a couple of those so far. Not very many, but a few. Oh my god, wow. See? These are all of them. <laughs> oh, it's actually giving me a clue to where to find them. That's interesting. The meek, the white, the gentle. Me, me handle not nor spare not, but those that cross Tom Renneros do what the panther does not. Okay, I don't know what that means. I know more than Apollo, for oft when he lies sleeping, I see the stars have mortal wars, and the wounded Vulcan sweeping. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be interesting. Well, I guess I'm going on a little... That's going to be something else I do in my spare time is look for these secrets of London. As you can tell, I've not found that many. You know what I really like about this game is that the writing for the twins feels like they're siblings. It, it's written properly. Like, oh wow, it was already playing some music. Like, it's not common to find anything that with siblings involved that's written like siblings talk and act. This one does it well. Like I can fully believe that these two are siblings and that they've grown up together. Just the way that they interact off each other, the way they talk to each other and I don't know. It's just it's really good and I don't know I feel, I don't know what, again, I can understand why people don't like this game. It, everyone has a, their own personal taste to it, but, you know, I, I don't get it. Because, like, everything, could you, could you please get out of my way, lady? Everything that I've experienced about this game so far, hey, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with you, but... I, I had no idea what was going on with that. I just saw the icon. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it's going to show up on the map. That'd be too easy if it showed. Yeah. <sighs> God, it's really hot. Okay. So, let's see. We at least know what that is now. And we know what all those are. Isn't that cool? Like, on the map, at nighttime, Big Ben's um, clock face lights up. That is a cool touch. I love it. It's so... 
minor, but it does so much. Mm. I don't trust these because they're in a level 9 area. So I guess I'll continue the story. I've, un I've opened up a bunch of things for me to do on my off time and... I don't know, people might be interested in watching them, but at the same time, it's like, it's a lot of repeating, you know? Or a lot of just me wandering around looking for treasure chests. Or the secrets. Honestly, the secrets are not at all interesting. It's not like in Ezio's story where when you find the glyphs, you have to do a little puzzle and then Subject 16 talks to you about something and you get an extra piece to the truth. I'm not going to say what the truth is in case people don't know. But, um, or like the, the Assassin Tombs, I mean, they're not anything. They're, they're puzzles as well, so they are worth watching. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. For a bit of stick oh, really? Who could be writing to him? <laughs> That's me. Yeah, that's so active. I could do this one. I'm almost at the right level for it. It's not weird that you can jump between sequence four and sequence sequence eight if you want. Alright, let's go. Evie's search for the piece of Eden continues as she examines the notebook recovered from Miss Thorne's chest. So, um, Jacob is sort of taking care of the immediate problem with the Templars invading um, You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. Which is a piece of Eden. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. Yeah, the that's what the... Like this, surely father would have known. The Golden Fleece does. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. I love her freckles. These look like directions. Are you coming? Field work is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. I would much rather have Jacob along, but whatever. I'm sure I'll get to like Henry. Like, it, I'm still early in the game, you know, I'm... Blue, I just skip like I this. Kenway, the, the pilot. Master assassin and pirate, yes. I'm just gonna keep going straight for a while. Oh, they're talking about Edward. How much do you know about the Shroud of Eden? It's said to heal the sick. The popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead, but the assassin records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London before. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found it? He traveled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. Sorry, I'm listening to what they're saying about the shroud. You know, I kind of already know. Indeed. What? I'm eager to find out myself. It is. <laughs> like we found out. Um, it's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. Edward's son, Haven, joined the Templars. When he died, the house passed on to Haven's sister. And in all your time in London, you didn't go and have a look around? You weren't even a little curious? Truly, I didn't expect to find anything there. We have no way of knowing how many times the buildings changed hands. I presume Haven would have had it stripped bare before he left. But if Miss Thorne thinks the shroud could still be there, I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. Well, it's it's a boat. 
or a ship or whatever. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. Yes, ma'am. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. Don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? <laughs> Hello, how how proper and mischievous they are. It sounds weird, but like, there's just this mischievous nature to them. But they're so proper about it, you know, if that makes sense. <laughs> Discover all of Kenway's memorabilia collection. Okay, let's see. Let's do this first. Huh. Someone's gonna get quite the fright. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh god. Mm. Let's just take a look here. It's not going to let me cheat or anything, I don't think. There's an entry point there. So I can have, oh god, I don't like the color. There's my friend. Okay, let's go. I've not gotten very far into Black Flag, by the way. I always take it. <sighs> Safe to come in. Oh god. Maybe not. Henry, he's right there. Jeez, you suck. Guess I have to do it. Are you coming in yet, or are you just standing guard? Okay, you're gonna be useless, aren't you? Hide her in this. Okay, let's see. So this is Edward Kenway's place, huh? That looks interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now all of a sudden you're here. I see how it is. One's in here, right? Ooh. Okay. Well, given that he was a former pirate, I think he'll understand that I'm stealing from him. I don't think he'll care. He'll probably he'd probably Give me his blessing if he knew. Again, I haven't finished it. Oh God, who's seeing me? He probably would even approve of me leaving bodies all over his house. <laughs> I have to sneeze. I kind of want to look around the house a little bit more. This section would probably be more meaningful to someone who's gone through Edward's story.
Oh, where are you? Oh. I still want to look around though because. Ooh, what's this? Another assassin artifact. Um. It looks like the Tesseract, honestly. <laughs> Why don't you pick that up, Ellie? Uh, uh, Ellie, damn. That's the second time I've called her that. Evie. Oh, there's his hat. Something from Edward Kenway's time. Yeah. Again, all this would probably be much more meaningful if I'd finished the game. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of playing it on Switch. I feel like that could the way the game works works would work better for me as a switch game as opposed to um you know a playstation game Because of the pirating sections, I feel like those would work better for me doing them on the Switch. Because that's my Switch play style. This should belong to the assassins. Well, then take it. Oh yeah, that's a map that he probably used back in the day. Okay, we looked thoroughly. Shall we go downstairs now? Let's... I mean, what's the point of me sneaking anymore? I've already... Henry, what are you even doing, buddy? Little model ship. I wish father could have seen this. Oh, is your dad a fan of Kenway? <laughs> what are we looking for? I'm not um, sure. I'm looking for... Oh, man. Dang. D-A-D-E-F-D. D-A-D-E-F-D. I got this. We'll get it again. D-A-D-E-F-D. Poked around more, apparently. Enormously subtle, is it? I missed two. Clearly, can we well, have a strong apparently, sense of I knew spectacle. I missed two, but I thought there, the other two would be in here for some reason. Oh well. Well, I'm not going to get the bonus because I. Ooh. 
Like this whole section would make, would feel hot. I feel like I should do this and play this again the after I finish assassins. Black Flag because it'll mean much more orcs. to me then. A hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. Well, I'm gonna go with the wheel. No? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay. Can we close the secret hatch behind us? An entire vault filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later or find a better cache. We? I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I... I was thinking more of you and your brother. Sure. I shall provide uh, planning assistance from the train. Jacob's off marauding. Well... Yeah, I wasn't going to get the full reward because I missed part of it. Oh well. What's next on the agenda? That's the vault, yeah. Charles Dickens' memories. Overdose. I just don't feel like walking all that way. <laughs> And like, I, this is gonna sound really weird, but I'm excited to get to Assassin's Creed 3. Like, I'm tempted to start it before I finish Brotherhood Revelations, but I made a, I am gonna, I'd re, would rather have the full scope of Ezio's story before I get going on Connor. But like, I'm excited because a lot of people, you know, don't like the third one just like a lot of people don't like this one but i love this one so far again i haven't finished it so i don't know how the story progresses from here <laughs> it's raining again but like i love it i love the characters i love the designs i love the music Oh, it's it's you again. Um, I'm gonna switch <laughs> to Jacob because he was the one helping. Oh, that's cute. He's fighting the wind with for his umbrella. Uh, skills. Oh yeah, we got four more skills from him for him. Let's see. I'll give him this. And then um, I'll go ahead and give him this knife master. Wait, what's this one? Yeah, that makes more sense for him to have now. Okay, three more points to reach the next level. Um, don't think I have anything new for my inventory. People other people oh yeah oh Reginald Birch yeah I was like that name sounds familiar so he kept his Ties to the Templars even after joining the Shroud of Eden, yeah. Let me read this actually. The first civilization created many strange and powerful objects which we refer to as Peace of Eden. 
We have discovered apples, strange spheres that can manipulate minds, powerful swords and staves, as well as some other objects that are a little less impressive. But perhaps one of the strangest one has to be the Shroud of Eden. Civilizations know the object as the Shroud of Turin, which some allege is the burial shroud of Jesus of Nazareth. On the surface, it's a white linen cloth stained with blood with the imprint of a man who appears to have been crucified. What we know about this object has been pieced together from various sources, genetic memories stolen from Abstergo's project legacy by the Hector Collective known as Erudito and the semi-coherent ramblings of the assassin Clay Bat, <laughs> who was driven insane by prolonged exposure to the animus. Oh, that must be Subject 16. It apparently has the ability to heal severe industry, in, injuries, but we don't know how. It is tied to a precursor named Consus. We've not been able to dig up anything more about him. Early reports of the ar artifact are hidden within myth and legend. The Golden Fleece of Jade, known the Argonauts, Joseph's famous multicolored coat, and it allegedly helped the David Bell Goliath. Yet, a most famous owner is undoubtedly celebrity paint carpenter Jesus, whose res resurrection was apparently facilitated by the Shroud. It bears mentioning that other than Jesus, there are no reports of any piece of the incapable of bringing back the dead. And until I see myself in the name of or otherwise, I remain a complete skeptic. To me, it's just a fancy napkin. Dead is dead, no matter how much I might wish otherwise. The object's been stolen back and forth between assassins and Templars over the centuries. The last report was that the Templars had managed to acquire it in the 1940s and have it stored away. Being the ever imaginative sword, they refer to it as Piece of Eden number 66. Although it might be the sexiest, might not be the sexiest piece of Eden out there, it's certainly not a laser sword or a mind control ball or a hover spoon. I've always been curious to know more about the Shroud. I'm glad to know there's at least one more of them out there. I hope we get to it first. Wow, there's so much in that little bit that's inaccurate i i it's painful <laughs> for one thing what helped david fell the goliath was i trust fate. that you had a productive More than meeting anything. with mr owen oh yes we had the most nothing to do with chat. a shroud i he didn't even really wear a shroud soothing syrup in the story dr elliotson i haven't heard that name in a long while he was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. <laughs> Sounds very wise. <laughs> Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. <laughs> I like him. But yeah. I mean, I shouldn't take it too seriously because it's a, you know, video game series. And I did say in my Ezio, my Assassin's Creed 2 playthrough that... This was obviously influenced by um, um, the Da Vinci Code. It's very similar, so I can't be too upset when it spouts bullshit like that about, you know, Jesus coming back to life because of a shroud. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't get too bad about it, but it's still like, geez, there's so much wrong with that in so many ways. Mm. Yeah. It's showing the vantage point down there for some reason. But the vantage point is actually up there. You know what, I'm going to go up there, where I know it is. I've been here before, trying to get this treasure, and I couldn't do it, so... I, God damn it. I'm going to assume I can get it now. Everything's opened up. Is it literally above me, or is it below me? Let's check. Ah, it's right there.
Tanjore poison. Okay. going where would I find the doctor I don't know oh she's you have to forget about me first and then I can continue all right we're back Ooh, the music in this area is really good. I don't remember if I did... I mean, I must have because I finished this sequence. Oh, God, is he giving him a lobotomy? Oh, God. As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. Unique kill opportunity, young doctor. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patients. Now hand over your keys. Infiltration opportunity, nurse. Yeah, I remember this now. What are you doing? Now Having that's doing all this. You're fired. Now bugger off. Oh god, look at the bloody handprint. Okay. Explore the area, identify opportunities. Nurse is the infiltration opportunity. Young doctor is a unique kill opportunity. Oh God. Healed, halt the electric convulsive therapy do session. Do not fire a single bullet. I can do that one pretty easy. Oh my God, that was so messed up. And you know what the worst part is? I can 100% believe that they did that back then. That they lobotomized people that brutally. Okay, so where is this? I see a green over here, so... Now that I'm here, I totally remember this, doing this. Alright, are you... Okay. Oh, he's gonna see me. Oh, come on, get up. Or not. Is there even a point to coming up here? Nope. There was no point in coming up here. Oh god. <laughs> that was so messed up. But again, like I said, can 100% believe that they did that back then. You don't see me. Where the hell... Uh, entry point, okay. But that's the front door. Oh, there's a key person right there. What's going on with that? I don't want to kill guards that I don't have to kill. 
Um, is it, if I go this way, would that work? Okay. Okay, there's an entry point that way. So if I come over here, um, where is she? There she is. Oh, she's inside. Oh, that's. Okay, I'm coming. No, go back. Go, get in. Good, good job. Milady. Hi. Hello. Yeah, okay. I know. Shush. What about her? Is she okay? What's going on? Um, what is going on with this character? Huh. I'm not sure what's going on with her. She's, there's a key, which I thought meant she's Can I do it? No. I was trying to. Now can I talk to her? There we go. That was weird. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. Looks like it's on the second floor. There is something very peculiar about that Dr. Elliotson. Now, it doesn't say I don't have to kill anybody, it just says not to fire bullets. So, I guess if I do end up killing somebody, that's fine. Yeah. See, that's fine. Okay, goddamn, he's pretty mobile. I don't really want to kill more doctors than I have to to get this done. Okay, just. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Hi! I'll take that. You know what? Yeah, screw these guys. They're I just love this music so much. It's so cool. It's okay. I need to get to the doctor and kill him. I don't need to do it, but it's there, so I'm doing it. <laughs> Screw all these guys. <laughs> I meant, at first, I was like, no, I don't want to kill more than I have to. Now I'm like, you know what? Screw them. I'm killing them. You saw what he did to that poor man. 
I'm probably being too merciful by stabbing them. Oh, okay. So he's actually below me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I have the master key so I can open all the doors. Except this door, apparently. Can't open that one. Alright. No, 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 no. Over this way. So, if I were the electroshock therapy area, where would I be? I think I need to go down a floor. What was the point in getting the master key if I can't actually open any of the doors? Wasn't that the point of getting it? Or was I supposed to check back with that lady first? Should I cause a panic? <laughs> I'm sure they don't care. Well, god damn it. Oh, now I can open doors. Open. Hi! Lady, you need to get out of the way. Oh God, oh God, cameras. I press the button. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing, you creep? His electro shock room. Oh no no, he's right there. I'm not done with this place yet. You're free. Get lady. Nope, I'm not doing that yet. Where is this doctor guy? It looks like he's outside. Hi. <laughs> Oh, once again. God, Jesus. Oh, man. He breaks people's limbs. Okay, where in, do I go to get this guy? Hi. <laughs> Just gonna leave body parts everywhere, who cares? Well, here's another door. Oh, maybe it's on this, in this area. I know it's extra, but I kind of want to, I want to do it. Electroshock therapy needs to stop. Excuse me, boys. None of that. Okay. I feel better now. Come here. Oh, 
Oh, it kind of looks like he's still one floor below this, even. Oh, this is a nothing door. Either that or he's outside? I have no idea. I'm just trying to figure out this map. Um, yeah, you saw me. Ha. Ah. Something very satisfying about this. And this is what I'm talking about, like, this is what's really good about this game and having the, the dual narrative is that Jacob is taking care of all the smaller problems, all the immediate problems, like, you know, these, these guys messing with people and, uh, this, this is going to drive me nuts. Okay, where... Hmm. Free? Oh yeah. <laughs> you have my gratitude, sir. No problem. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I'll not be working for this asylum. This guy is just gonna drive me nuts. Where the heck is he on the map? Hmm. I don't know, because it it shows he's. Did I already kill him? Oh. Well, I don't really need to do that. Hmm. But I'd like to, but I don't know how to get over to it. Wish I had a better idea of what the map looks like once I get inside. Get in there. Because according to the map... He's right below me. So... <laughs> Brutal. So if I drop down here... Am I on the right floor now? Or is he below me even even further? Yeah, see, it still looks like there's another floor below me. Where the hell do I go to get there? I might just go and kill him this way, because it feels like I'm wasting time trying to do it the other way. <laughs> Too bad no one's here to take this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. That guy looks like he's in a cage. Oh, there are the stairs. God, that really blends in, doesn't it? You know what? I don't even care if you see me. Can't wait to be home with my What you gonna do about it? I'm sorry, sir, but you yep. aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. Authorized personnel only. Please go away. I'm sorry, sir. But you aren't allowed in here. I have to go in a different way so he doesn't notice me.
I want Okay. What do I do to hide this? I'm really confused now. I'm it won't sorry, let me sir, but you aren't allowed in here. It won't let me do anything to him. I'm sorry, sir. But you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask to leave, sir. Oh no, it's because he's seen me and now I have to reset him or what? I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask to leave, sir. Huh. I'm really confused. How do I do this? Can I kill him with a knife? He doesn't even care that I have this body. <sighs> Lie on the stretcher. I, this is all unnecessary, but I wanted to do it. <laughs> experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens... Let's compare the brain of this specimen. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow, forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford's steric has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. A child who believes he can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? You're gonna wipe it away? Yeah. Not sure why they do that with their victims, but I'm sure it has some significance to them. Well, that was fun. Now we need to find a way out. <laughs> oh All these guys witnessed a murder. Well, they already witnessed another murder. A previous murder, so maybe it doesn't matter to them. Okay. Once again, the map's a little confusing. Ah! Got. <laughs> if I just waltzed out the front door, that'd be kind of hilarious, wouldn't it? Jeez. I'm not... I'm sparing nobody. 
Uh, wasn't there a way out over here? Oh, I was supposed to buy it. There's one. There it is. All right, I'm out. But yeah, I like that he is taking care of the... ...more... ...immediate problems. Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps it doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but it's simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Hmm. Gentlemen. I wouldn't disagree with that. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. What's your point? All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I like this guy. I don't know why, but something about that little speech was just so. Our beloved London shall not see He didn't give a shit. <laughs> fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted soon enough. Or delicious. I think you're gonna be the one who's gonna Sorry to interrupt in a ship. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otso Berg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, Tish Tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. <laughs> I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, Keep a low profile. Let the initiate continue to sync the data. I also kind of forgot about them. <laughs> a letter a for letter. me. For me? Oh. Yes. I guess. Loading. Oh. The perils of business. John Elliott's son is dead and Steric soothing syrup has been eradicated. Having shut down one branch of Steric's enterprise, Jacob looks to loosen the Master Templar's hold on London's transportation. Meanwhile, the race for the Shroud of Eden continues, and Edie hopes to gain upper hand over her enemy Lucy Four. Owning the okay. railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Which one? <laughs> There's a 
There's a lot of monuments in London. A letter for me. Okay, are you broken? What are you doing? Okay, so a room with a view that looks like Evie. Friendly competition. What is this still doing? And then both breaking news. And then the lay with the lamp is BB again. Cool. Why is it still a gold one here? Oh, I got another. It's acting like there's a quest in this area, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Oh, I got new stuff. Let's look at it. Eh, that's so much worse than what I have now. Well, let's see. What can we upgrade with our gang right now? Um... The carriages. There's room for the budget for better wheels. The rooks now dominate the streets of London with more res resistant carriages. Okay. Do we want to do that or the brutes? What's this? You'll see more explosives around the city. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's great and all, but I don't really care that much. Certain fireworks vendor likes it when things go boom. <laughs> Shell company. Let's do that first. Ooh. Rate of income. Pass bills that reduce the business taxes. Increase the amount of money deposited in your hand. Okay. Not just yet. Oh, that's too much. I'm not buying, not spending all that. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. And that's it for now. Uh, let's check our skills. I mean, eventually I'm going to do all of this, but... Carriage, you drive so Oh man, I could use that. <laughs> These are all four, right? Yeah. I have two more that I can do for two each, so if I wait. Brand new outfit for Evie available for free. I don't really care about outfits. Not bringing in so much as a tanner. What, what are the odds? What? That plane you're carrying puts it a new fashion. Am I supposed to be getting something that. Souvenir? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Um. Ooh, what's this? Karl Marx memories. Charles Darwin memories. Oh man, when did all this open up? Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to see that what that is before I do anything else. This is this is past the point of when I get. When I played last time, by the way, so if I'm like, what in the world is going on? It's because this is all new territory. I know, I don't know what it is about me and these games, but I just don't get far into them before I quit. Just don't. Oh. Why do I automatically get 7, 90, 900 plus 70? Is it because I'm so much... Is it 
Why? Huh. Yeah. I'm just checking. So some of... Okay, level 6. Huh. Interesting. Some of them give me extra and some of them don't and I'm not sure what why. <laughs> Okay, well, I opened a. I really want to see what this Karl Marx memory is. So I'm going to do that. I don't know who I should be for it, though. I don't know if that's, this is more of a uh, Jacob memory or a, an Evie memory. I also have no idea. Hmm. You might be thinking it doesn't matter, but for me it does because it feels like each of them, they're doing their own stories. Like, whenever I do a Charles Darwin memory, I'm going to be Jacob because he's the one helping Darwin. And when I do Charles Dickens memories, I play as Edie because she's helping him. So, I'm not sure what kind of thing we're getting into with Marx. So, I'll stay as Jacob. I might switch back and forth with this one. I don't really know what he, what he wants from us. All right. Let's mark this on the map so I can go straight to it. We. Uh, for Valhalla, the one thing that I really want them to do is, I'm guessing it's going to be RPG style like the last ones have been, and that's fine. Um, but I like the idea that you're building settlements in it, because that, that will give you a sense of accomplishment that goes beyond... You know, the. Not. I don't care about the carriage right now. I'm doing something else. Okay, uh, this will be the last thing I do before I take a break. I feel like I need to. Cat and mouse, level 5. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Well, there we go. Pardon me, Mr. Marks. What's up? Help Marks avoid the London police. Oh, God. There are no cats in America. <laughs> and the streets are filled with cheese. <laughs> listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. <laughs> Why are you suddenly the cautious one? It's usually the other way around. He's usually the one who's like, yeah, let's do it. And she's usually the one like, um, no. So it's a little odd that in this case they kind of switched it up. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have done this. You see? 
I didn't kill a civilian. Uh, I'm gonna have to reset it. I didn't kill a civilian. I didn't mean to. I meant to drop that barrel on that guy. So I'm just gonna let it reset. Yeah, I, I remember this now, now that I'm starting it. <laughs> God, now that song in my head. <laughs> there are no cats in America, and the streets are filled with cheese. <laughs> oh God, my childhood. That was such a good movie. There are no cats in America, so it's a, you're my enemies. Whatever. You guys aren't doing your job, so I gotta do it for you. Okay, could you get down? Could, could you get down? There you go. Oh, God. Oh, where am I? Jeez. Okay. This is a bit of a Okay, I'm gonna reset again. Sorry. These fucking guys. I mean, obviously, don't kill where the police are gonna see you. Jeez. That should be. Okay, Carl, I'm going to have to do this a little bit more out of the way than I'd prefer, but... The police are going to be on my ass, so... Although, they, they didn't go after me the last... whatever. I'm not going to even worry about it right now. Well, that did nothing. I'm so far from where I want to be right now. Oh, come on. Yep, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Where's the next guy? Oh, fudge. Oh, come on. I remember this. Okay, where's the 
the last one. Oh God. Ah, he got... He got away from me. Hold on. Oh, there he is. Oh, damn. Well, whatever. I don't care. They're like, what happened to this guy? Looks like he got stabbed in the head. Thanks for waiting for me. Tonight, sundown. The usual place. I'll be there. You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. <laughs> Onwards. No doubt uh. the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. Oh, you want me to start killing some fools? I can do that. I could have done the challenge if I <clears throat> tried, but I don't know. It's just easier doing it the way I did it. Like, there was one, <clears throat> I don't know if I did it on stream or not, I've already kind of blended them all together because they're so similar. There was one Templar killing challenge where I had to kill him by running up, by using a carriage. That one was like so hard. I probably could have eventually done it, but by then I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this. I don't care anymore, so I just killed him normally. Create a faction fight outside the pub to attract the spy. How do I do that? Ooh. Never mind. I can see exactly how I'm going to do that. Where did my boys go? Hey guys, Tell me come over here. I need your help with something. Let's have a salvo. This is not going the way I want it to go. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> they might kill him. Okay. That's not really what I wanted to do, but okay. What the fuck is happening? Okay, Rooks. Okay, calm down, guys. Well, I caused a fight, but it happened inside the pub, so it didn't really work the way I wanted it to work. Oh, well. I believe our work here is complete. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to get the bonus anyway because I didn't kill those two guys with the barrels, so. Oh, I still have Brooks follow me. Um, okay, you guys don't have to keep following me. Or maybe I can get them to fight these guys. 
it seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will well, you the yeah, back okay, here? I can do that. I would look him in the eye. No, no, no fighting. Bad idea. Reset. Reset. <laughs> that didn't work. I kind of need my rooks now. But wait, are they gonna kill that guy, or are they just gonna distract the 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 police? Because I wanted them to create the distraction outside, but they the the spy never went outside because <laughs> the fight was whatever it didn't work is what I'm trying to say <laughs> yeah I know every thousand I earn her skill point what to do okay let's try this again oh I don't have my guys anymore okay yeah stay back here and ask why he went back on his brethren. How am I gonna do this though without getting into a fight with the Hmm Oh, is he running? Fuck me. How did he even know I was over here? Oh, what just happened? Okay, jump. Ah, he's in a fucking cart now. Okay, I need this. Let's go. So this one? That's the way. Excuse me. Ah, come on, no, get 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 off. Jeez, that took... That was more than... Okay, let's just shove him in here. What? Why won't you go in? Okay, I'm just gonna drive him over there. It won't take nearly as long. This is so sloppy, jeez. Oh, I messed up pretty much every part of this that I could. Who's a good horse? You are. <laughs> That's cute. Steady on. I kinda wish that um Unity was on sale so I could get that and just play that again. For whatever reason. Okay, no, fuck! Where are you going? Stop! Are you mad? You're making a big mistake. Alright, come over this way. At least you won't try to escape. But I'd like to give Unity another chance, because that's another one I didn't get very far into. And that everyone kind of shits on. 
All right, well, there we go. Simon, my friend, what possessed you to do this thing? Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill say, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. Isn't it interesting? You, my friend, I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. Oh well. The sucky thing about multi-part memories is that if you mess up one part of it, you're not going to get the bonus. So like, say I messed up the, um, say I messed up the first part of it but got the second part of it, I still wouldn't get the bonus because I have, you have to do both parts of it to get the bonus. And that kind of sucks. Excuse me. There you go. Maybe <laughs> two. No problem. So yeah. Oh, I said I was gonna stop after that, didn't I? <laughs> Every time. But yeah, for whatever reason, like a bunch of the Assassin Creed games were on sale on the PlayStation Network, but not that one. And not the um, remake of the third game. It's weird. Like Ezio's story, that was on sale. This was on sale. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins is on sale. Odyssey is on sale. <laughs> but for whatever reason, Unity wasn't on sale. And you think that one would be on sale because it's not a popular one. So they, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, well, you've already seen me do this, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna mess around because now I've got plenty of stuff to mess around with. Let's look at the map and see just how much crap I can do. I can do all these races and things. I want to at least get Topping to level 1. He's still at level 0 with me. And then I can clean this up a little bit. Um, and then, oh god, there's another Karl Marx thing. Anarchist Intervention. Interesting. And I can start looking for more Secrets of Eden, or Secrets of London, to do this. Um, I'll check back in when I've found all of them, because right now you saw what happens. I just put them in. Nothing interesting, so. And then Darwin and Dickens, it looks like. Or over here. And then we have another Dickens memory that hasn't opened yet for some reason. Mark Carl's Karl Marx memories. Over here. So I got plenty to do before I continue this story. Um, so you're going to have to let me know if you actually want to watch me do this stuff because you've seen me do most of it already. You've seen me do a hijacking. You've seen me do an escort. You've seen me do a race. You've seen me do the fight club. You've seen all this stuff. The, the hunt, bounty hunt, freeing the children and all that. Like it's very repetitive like it's not there there isn't much variation um you see me have you seen me do the smuggler's boat it's it doesn't matter it's just i'm on the boat and i steal stuff it's not interesting so i i mean i can dedicate a stream to just doing that miscellaneous cleanup but it feels like it's just going to be repetitive stuff and it's going to be boring so I'd rather clean that stuff up on my own and leave the, the like character specific ones for streams like um, the Karl Marx ones and the Dickens ones and the Darwin ones. 
I can leave all those for streams and all this extra cleanup stuff I can do on my own because, again, it's just, it's very repetitive. It's just the same thing, slightly different. Like this, this fight club that I'm about to go in, I bet you it's exactly like the fight club I just did, except I haven't gotten, a, it's even the same suggested level. I just haven't gotten the personal best in it yet, so. Yeah, um. I think what I did last time for um, the sequence four, I did Jacob's first and then I did Evie's. So I think for sequence five, I'll flip it. I'll do Evie's first and then we'll do Jacob's. Because I, I ended up doing his at the start with the um, soothing syrup thing. We finished that off in this episode, so. <clears throat> Maybe if I do, I don't really know. And B means both. <laughs> so that one is one that involves both of them. So we'll save that one for last. So what we'll do, I'll do the end of, at least for this one, I might just make the uh, make it various to have it be more interesting. So it'll be Evie, Jacob, and then both, and then we'll see what happens for the next one. So um, I'm just gonna do this Fight Club, and probably actually, yeah, I'll, I'll do the Fight Club, and then I'll take a break. Like I'm taking a break. Uh, from streaming, but on my own, I'll probably do the Fight Club and then take a break. But anyway, um, that was rambly. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope it, hope that my enthusiasm for the game has made people think about it again. And again, I, I don't really know if it gets better or worse. This is all new to me. Well, the thing with Karl Marx, I remember doing now that I redid it, but like sequence five on, I don't really know what the story's gonna be because my last trophy is sequence four. So I didn't finish sequence five. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen in it. So I don't know how the story's gonna progress from here, but so far I really like it. I like that they're different. I like, like I was saying, I like that Jacob is concerned with the immediate problem of the Templars controlling um, London, and he he's concerned with the small matters of like the syrup and and that sort of thing. Which now it's like, well, maybe I should. I don't know, whatever. Whereas Edie is more concerned with the grander scale of it, with the pieces of Eden and that sort of thing, like. But they're both working towards the ultimate same goal of taking power away from the Templars. They just have different ideas of how to do that, you know. And I like that about them because then it allows that diverging path in the story. Like, instead of, it's a, I don't know, instead of one person doing both, it's two people doing both. So it's a divide and conquer sort of thing. Which seems like that's that would make sense in this kind of group, the assassins. Like, like um, with Ezio, he was doing everything, and I feel, and in most Assassin's Creed games, you're working alone. Like every, like with four, you eventually get a ship and a crew, um, and in Odyssey, you'll become part of an army, but. Like in almost every other one, you're alone doing all this stuff. And I I like the fact that this shows there's more of a network to it. Like Henry is an assassin, but he's not quite as involved in the daily activities of it. So I like it's showing the organization part of it. I like that. I like the two. I like the twins. They're they're different, but they're similar enough and they talk like real siblings so like I don't know 
And I like the music. I like the atmosphere. I like, I just like it. And <clears throat> I look forward to seeing where it goes next. And I hope you do too. And so I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time for Evie's next thing. I don't know why this is still gold. It's really bugging me. All right. Anyway, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.